Okay. Uh, <clears throat> some overvaluation with defense. Well, you know, there, uh, there's another to topic which I think is uh, of a fair bit of interest to uh, the bond markets, money markets. The uh, huge tax outflow of 2.38 trillion rupees, that is uh, 2.38 lakh crores, by way of advanced taxes is having its re repercussions on the money and bond markets. Overnight rates are touching 6.9% versus RBI's repo rate, which is at 6.5%. Lata is here with more details on this. Lata, over to you. Yes, that's right. The advanced tax outflows have been larger than people estimated at almost 2.4 trillion. And that's led to a lot of tightness because that money flows out of the banking system into the government. As a result, the one-day money that banks borrow from one another to meet a temporary uh, uh, funding requirements, that's shot up to 6.9%. The normal rate is 6.5%, which is uh, the repo rate. Now, the banks have to uh, be prepared for further outflows, which will happen when GSTs ha have to be paid on September 20th. Today, you can see that banks have borrowed 67,000-odd crores, actually 67,576 crores, from Reserve Bank to meet these uh, funding mismatches. Uh, further, there will be another 25,000 crore which will be released on September 23rd and then on October 1st when the ICRR, incremental CRR, unwinds. But that's not going to be enough because the outflow is much more. Uh, unless the government spends the liquidity that it has got through advanced taxes, the liquidity crunch will continue. And for bankers, the fear is that these higher uh, bond uh, money market yields and bond yields is going to hit their trading book if it continues till September 30th. There will be MTM, mark-to-market losses. The uh, banks are a little scared that Reserve Bank may continue to keep the liquidity tight because of the fear of inflation and asset inflation, the rise in, you know, mid-cap, small-cap stocks. The fear is also that the dollar has risen a lot and to protect the rupee as well, Reserve Bank could keep liquidity tight and near-term, short-term yields high. So bankers are a worried lot today. Got it. Thanks a lot for that, Lata. Thanks for explaining that to us. For the time